careful not to get spotted. If you come any closer, I...
Come on. I don't know. Will the hurt go away? Tell you what. You have to scare it away. If you roar like a lion, it'll run. <laughs> Good job. Now run along home. You must be a physician. Yes, I'm Likaon. You must be a Mystios. Are you here for treatment? That depends. Will I have to roar for you too? <laughs> Sometimes the best medicine I can give my patients is a dose of hope. I take it you're not in need of care. I'm healthy as a horse. You look strong and prepared for anything. My patients need mandrake herbs. There's a part of them growing by a little stream southeast of here. Are you too busy to pick them? Too chewy. A pack of wolves is resting near the stream. I'll pay you generously for your trouble. You know how to talk to Mystios. Is that all you want? The mandrake herbs? For now. Bring them back to me, and I'll pack at them for my patients. Then we'll see.
I'll bring you the herbs. You said they were southeast of here. Yes, by a little stream northeast of Kira. The flowers haven't bloomed yet, but the leaves are a distinctive gray-green. Thank you. Lycaon said the herbs would be near a little stream. That looks like it. These must be the herbs Lycaon wanted. <laughs> Mandrake herbs. Time to go back to the physician. Here, I found your herbs. Thank you. I'll prepare these for my patients. Could you please stay a while? I'll wait. I've crossed the herbs so they'll be easier to take. Could you please bring them to my patients? Just tell them they're for me, Lycaon. I thought I brought you more herbs than this. I needed to save a double dose for my grandmother. I'll give it to her soon. Sure. I'll just deliver the rest, then. Thank you. All my patients are in and around the Hora of Delphi. One should be at the animal pens to the west. One is building a house in the northeastern corner. And, uh, one works in the fields to the south. Come back here when you're done. I'm sure I can find them. Gaon sends his regards. The medicine he promised. Thank you. Tell me, did he look well? He didn't look sick to me. I've seen him up and walking around at all hours, mumbling to himself. He seems worried. I should bring him some sweets to cheer him up. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. I'll be on high alert here. Hey! Lycaon made this medicine for you. Thanks. See, I take care of these beasts, and Lycaon takes care of me. Too bad nobody takes care of him, though. What do you mean? His parents died young. His grandmother raised him, but then... she was born under a cursed star. Never mind that. He's a good boy. I'm sure he is. These herbs are from Glicaon. Oh, thank you. That physician is so thoughtful and so handsome. 
It's too bad he's decided not to marry. Why not? He just told me some nonsense about not wanting to burden an innocent woman with his worries. Personally, I just wish he'd been honest and said I'm not his type. I wonder why he'd say that. I delivered all your medicine. Seems you have a lot of people concerned for your well-being. Thanks. Um... My grandmother, Praxithea, I have to bring her the last of the medicine. Will you come along with me to her house? I think I need your help. Yes. I'd like to know what's going on here. Oh, thank you. Please, my grandmother's house is this way. Thanks for coming with me. Why do you ask me that? If someone is impious to the point of doing grave injustice to people as well as the gods, do they not deserve punishment? What did Praxithea do? She spoke false prophecies for years. Those who came to her for advice received only lies. Your grandmother was an oracle? Yes, up on the hill in Delphi. She confessed to me recently that she never heard the gods and only repeated the words she was told. Told by vile people with evil intentions. Exactly. Wars have been fought over those words. She can't be left unpunished. I... My family was torn apart by a false prophecy. If it was one of hers, I may take matters into my own hands. I know what you want to do. You'll just bring more shame on our family. I don't want to do this, Agavi. But for the sake of justice, we can't let Praxithea live. It's out of our hands anyway. Some strange men were searching the village today, looking for her. I brought them here, and they dragged her away. What kind of justice is that? You wouldn't understand. She was an impious old fool. Now we have nothing more to worry about. Who are you anyway? I'm Cassandra. I have also been wronged by a false prophecy. It might have been your grandmother's. If we don't find her, we can't settle any of this. Please help me figure out where she's been taken. I'll look for clues. What did you expect me to do? All that talk about killing? A solution showed up, so I took it. That wasn't the way it was supposed to happen. She's my responsibility, not yours. Praxithea must have lost this bracelet in the struggle. But no ordinary thief would have left something so valuable behind. This looks like a contract. Deliver the package to the drop-off and don't damage it. If they mean Likaon's grandmother, Chances are she's alive. strange going on around here? Well, if bandits taking over my cousin's farm is strange, yes. What did they do? Gave her a running start. She can't go back there. They've set up camp, and they're armed and dangerous. Interesting. Where is that farm? It's not far west of here, but I wouldn't mess with those bandits. Thanks for the advice. Praxithea was kidnapped and brought to a farm west of here. The bandits were hired to deliver her alive. Thank you for figuring that out, Cassandra. I'm no fool, Likaon. Your sister put Praxithea in great danger, and you've been asking me about killing. Do you want me to end her life? No. 
It has to be me. I need to kill her. She's your grandmother, and you're no killer. You should give this more thought. She's my responsibility. I don't want her to suffer. That's why I asked you for Mandrake. It's a painkiller. But for now, will you go to the farm to stop those bandits? I don't think I can take them all on myself. Let's go find Praxithea. Thanks, Cassandra. You said the farm was to the west. I'll meet you there. Praxitia is being held prisoner. We must get away from here. Could more bandits be coming? for saving me, dear child. Don't thank me, voice of Apollo. Or were those someone else's words you spoke? So you've met my grandson. You're right. I lied to everyone. I am so sorry. The gods should have killed me by now. Instead, they made me live with my remorse. Why did you spread lies? People trusted you. You were supposed to bring them the word of Apollo. I didn't plan to, not when I was chosen to be the Oracle of Apollo. But I met people there who told me I must speak the words they asked, or else my family would suffer for my disobedience. Family? Do you remember telling a Spartan family that their younger child must die? A grieving mother with eyes like mine. I am so sorry for what you have lost. Who wanted you kidnapped? These brutes didn't come up with the idea themselves. Please, don't ask me that. 
the ones who want to punish me now, the ones who told me what to say, they would bury you alive if I told you about them. The ones with masks and dark cloaks. The cult of Cosmos. Do not speak their name. Grandmother. Did she tell you? Is she the oracle who brought ruin on your family? I'm sorry for what I've done. I accept my punishment. But please, don't let my grandson kill me. Likaon's a good man, a healer. This would break him. No, this is my responsibility. I must be the one to end her. I've killed enough people to know that violence has no end. Better to move on, and make the best of the lives the gods have given you. Move on? But you said Praxithea ruined your family. She can do no more harm. Killing her for revenge won't change what happened. Besides, didn't you tell me something about hope? Thank you for your mercy. I promise I will do good with what's left of my days. You're right, Cassandra. I might not be able to forgive my grandmother, not right away. But she can go on with her life, and I with mine. I think you've made the right decision, Ligaon. Ah, oh, how do you do this? Decide who lives and who dies. How do you do it, Ligaon? All those lives depending on you, needing your healing and kindness. I... I, I think I need you, Cassandra. Not to kill anybody or find anything. Just to stay with me. I can't stay forever, but for now, let me take care of you, healer. Cult is nothing without me. Even the gods cower in my wake. Kneel or die. Who needs democracy when Thrakmi rules the world? Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open. What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it? Slaves understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. <laughs> Chaos is our greatest strength. The fight is only over when I am the last man left standing. I spent 20 years at sea, only to realize the cult was my home.
What would you like? Thanks for stopping by. Chiare, can I help you with anything? There's wild mandrake that grows out in one of my fields. A witch gathers it sometimes. I don't use the mandrake, so I don't mind. Well, I don't mind that part. What bothers you then? The witch dances when she collects the mandrake. It's, well, I suppose provocative is the word I want. I can't get the farmhands to do any work when she's around. Or my husband. That's a problem. But I'm not going to kill her for dancing. No, I just want the mandrake gone. Before my husband volunteers to start delivering it. You want me to bring it to her? That's exactly it. Will you do it for me? I'll help you. You have my word. You're doing good work. Here, stranger. Delivery for you, from a farmer. Oh, just what I needed. Take this for your trouble, Mistios.
Could be trouble if I'm spotted here. Remain from this.
What do you think you're doing? Ha! 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 
Chiere, is there something you need? Lions have attacked my master's goats three times this week. You need to keep a closer eye on the goats. He's sending men to beat me for my negligence. And if I lose more goats, the lions may as well take me too. So you want me to provide protection? That would be ideal. If anyone tries to hurt you, they go through me. Stay close. I hope you enjoy your last fight! <laughs> 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 They say you can't walk. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something.
Uh. I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor, Ephialtes? King Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived, a coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned a people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal, and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind, and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos! Traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path. Just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our...
we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Mirovatos and I share a mystery. Like El Pino? She is. Was. Part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be my brother. Your brother? Why, Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me about it. But don't you worry! This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies! And one of them fights like Athena, and six thunder like Zeus! We'll bring the wrath of the gods down upon them! Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Greece, land of salt and more salt. This area will be well defended. Thank <laughs> you. 